Welcome to the Magoosh IELTS Vocabulary Podcast. This is Lesson 15. In this episode, we will cover four words all related to the theme of hometown. Downtown, rural, outskirts, and suburb. Don't forget to check out our show notes for a link to your free IELTS vocabulary list containing these words and others. And visit us at IELTS.magoosh.com for more great resources to improve your IELTS fan score. Okay, let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to your teacher, Elliot. He is the Magoosh IELTS expert, and here's a fun fact about Elliot. His family home was located alongside the river that cut through his hometown. Hello, Magoosh IELTS podcast listeners. Welcome to today's show. I'm Elliot, the IELTS expert from Magoosh. And when I was a child, I loved kayaking on that river next to my house. So today, we're going to look at four words that are going to help you during the speaking portion of your IELTS exam. Make sure to go to the link in the show notes to get the full list of vocabulary words. The theme for the words in today's episode is hometown and words we might use to describe the places where we grew up. Okay, downtown is the first word on the list, so let's start with that one. Downtown, what does it mean? Well, the word downtown is the name for the traditional center of a city or town. Usually, the downtown area contains the city's business district, so a city's downtown is its main commercial area. Most cities and downtowns have a center, so we can use the word downtown to describe that area regardless of how large or small the city is. A city of 800,000 people and a town of 800 could both have a downtown. When cities are extremely large, they may have more than one downtown. For example, New York City is so big that it has many different downtowns. Downtown Manhattan, downtown Brooklyn, downtown Harlem, the list keeps going. There are also some towns that are too small or spread out to have a downtown. For example, Tonopa, Nevada, is such a small town that there's no central business district or commercial area. However, most mid-sized towns and cities do have a downtown, where business and activity is concentrated. So that's downtown. The next word is rural. The word rural describes an area that contains mostly farmland and countryside. A rural area is the area located outside of towns and cities. When people use the word rural, they often use it to mean not urban, that is, not cities or towns. While there may still be people living in rural areas, these areas have fewer people than cities, and the people are typically living farther apart from each other than the people in the cities. So if you grew up in an urban area like London, you might live in an apartment with 50 people all living in the same building. But if you grew up in rural Alaska, your closest neighbor might be many miles away. Okay, so that's rural. We have even more words for you coming up, but let's pause for a word from Magoosh. Thanks, Naomi. Do you want a great IELTS score? Well, guess what? Magoosh can help. Here's how. We have in-depth video lessons that cover IELTS concepts, pitfalls, and shortcuts, over 200 practice questions to help you prepare, 24-7 email access to a team of smart and fun remote tutors ready to answer your questions. So, are you ready to improve your score and get into your dream program? Great! We're ready to help. Visit us at IELTS.Magoosh.com. That is I-E-L-T-S dot M-A-G-O-O-S-H dot com. Use coupon code IELTS Podcast, that's one word, no spaces, to save 20% off your IELTS test prep. That's it. All right, now back to the story. The next word is outskirts. So what does outskirts mean? Well, the outskirts of a city or town are the areas at the outer edge of that city or town. The outskirts of a city are the parts farthest away from the city center. Uh, 
So if you live in the outskirts of a city, you still live in that city, but you're right on its edge. If you lived any farther away from the city's central area, you would be far enough out that you're no longer even in the city at all. But if you're in the outskirts, you're right on the edge. So outskirts are the area between the city and whatever is outside the city. As an example, we can look at the location of two different schools in Portland, Oregon. Portland State University is located in Portland, right in the center of the city. We would say that Portland State University is in downtown Portland. But Lewis and Clark College is a 10-minute drive west from downtown Portland, in a residential area away from the business and commerce. And if you drive any farther, you'll leave the city of Portland and enter the city of Beaverton. So Lewis and Clark College is still in Portland, but it's on the outskirts of Portland. So that's outskirts. The final word today is suburb. So a suburb is a town or city that is very close to a much bigger city. People who live in the suburbs often travel to the big city for work, shopping, events, or gatherings. A suburb is a residential area that is nearby a city. Suburbs are typically less densely populated than cities. So that means that the people in the suburbs aren't living as close together as the people in the cities. For example, many people in cities live in apartment buildings, while people in suburbs are often in single-family houses with yards and open space. Some people move from the city to the suburbs because they want to have more space to live in. However, suburbs are still more densely populated than rural areas, where most of the land is open countryside or agricultural fields. So someone in a city might live in an apartment building on a street with hundreds of other people and share walls with their neighbors. And someone in the suburbs is more likely to live on a street with 10 or 20 other houses that have yards and that don't share walls with each other. And someone in the rural countryside might live in a farmhouse that's miles away from any of their neighbors. So suburbs are in between the cities and the countryside, both in terms of location and in terms of how close together people are living. So that's suburbs. Great. In this episode, you learned four words related to hometowns. For more vocabulary, download the full list of vocabulary in the show notes and tune in to the next episode. Thanks for listening. If you liked this video, Give us a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. And if you're ready to start improving your IELTS score, check us out at IELTS.magoosh.com. Use the coupon code IELTSROCKSTAR at checkout for 20% off your order. That's I-E-L-T-S-R-O-C-K-S-T-A-R at checkout for 20% off. Happy studying!